Booney Tim back here with some more gameplay. Today we'll be looking at Blue's Clues. Let's get into it. Okay, opponent starting off with the Ascension star ability. Let's play a Lost Soul from a deck. And um, looks like I won the die roll. I chose to go first. I revealed a star ability of my own. Stricken. Stricken says protect all decks and reserves from opponents during next battle phase. So this means if I attack and they block and they try to search their deck or access reserve, that's going to be a no-no. So we'll see if I remember this trigger. It's one thing to reveal your stricken. It's another thing to reveal your, to remember your trigger. So let's see. I have no other righteous in my hand. I could go with him on turn one, attack, convert to meek to 10, 11, prevent cards. So like not the worst turn one attack. In this hand, it was difficult to decide if I was going to go first or second. I think part of me just wanted to go first as default, but I think there was a good argument for going second here. I had an outsiders, which is good when you're being attacked and opponent has a bunch of stuff in play and you have nothing in play. Also had a way to get my herdsman on turn one. So I could have gone the deceiver, search my deck for a herdsman if I wanted to be blocked, if I wanted to block with him. I also had my Darkness Lost Soul, which would have grabbed me evil character for turn one to block. Because I saw the Ascension as the revealed star ability, I wanted to make sure I had an answer for the Matthew. So yeah, comment down below if, like what would you have done. Would you have chosen to go first with this hand? Or would you have chosen to go second? Because I did have the Stricken out to protect decks from being searched that, during battle. Okay, he's playing a Lost Soul here. I don't remember the name of this one. But basically, he's revealing... The top cards of my deck and putting lost souls into play and giving me an evil card so that's good if your opponent doesn't have any lost souls in play but i'm kind of scratching my head right now because i have a lot of lost souls in play i feel like opponent might want to might have wanted a uh, evil card okay. let's see here let me start this game denarius is gonna go grab me an evil emperor evil roman sorry from deck i can discard it to draw three cards Angel of the Winds is one of the cards I drew, so this can grab a character from my deck, which will be Abraham. Abraham can go grab Angel of the Three Winds, or sorry, Abraham can go grab the Three Visitors, which can go grab a Patriarch from my deck. So let me go grab Jacob. Jacob can grab a good enhancement, Genesis enhancement that is. It's going to grab this one. And then I had a Benjamin in my hand which I could use to ban into battle exchange for something in my deck. I'll exchange for Joseph. And Joseph can go and grab my reserve for famine or my storehouse. Maybe I should have grabbed my storehouse right here. Um, yeah, both have a Genesis reference that can be got, gotten with Joseph. And I have two battle winners in my hand, reserve for famine and Abraham servant to her to make everything kind of fight by the numbers type of, of stuff. And I'm... Protecting lost souls from evil cards. So yeah, pretty strong turn one attack. Thanks to that angel of the winds draw. Or else it just would have been like this or Noah. Let's see what opponent can do. Or the rebellious. And then he's going to play some begging to go back. Okay, opponent's trying to decide which modes he wants to do. Initially he chose to discard the top two cards, but then I let him change his mind to negate my orphans. And he's going to be activating an OT curse. Confusion of mind coming down. He activated it from hand. So my Joseph, the dreamer, that's cannot be negated. Jacob is cannot be interrupted. Abraham is cannot be negated. So I actually don't really care about confusion of mind right now. Sure. You can negate all my heroes that can't be negated. Okay. So remember how I said I had protection from, or lost souls were protected. One was from orphans. So that got negated. And two was from Benjamin. But here's a question in my mind. So I had Benjamin exchange him into my deck. If he activates Confusion of Mind during the middle of the battle, like is Benjamin's protectability on Lost Souls interrupted and negated? Because if, if so, then this, place, this play could have worked. But if not, the Lost Souls are being protected currently <clears throat> by Benjamin's ability. So yeah, I don't know. I have to ask in the Discord later. But let's just say for the sake of the video, that I forgot my Benjamin trigger, either that I forgot it or it got negated, and um, opponent was able to fire off this rebellion. I also forgot another trigger, 
opponent was able to snag a go into captivity from his reserve, even though it's protected. So I, I missed another trigger there. My stricken, man. My stricken. <laughs> okay, so strong attack, some confusing interactions, and the end of my turn has come. I'm trying to get down to hand size here. At least I don't have any lost souls the opponent can rescue now. That's good. Okay, they drew their humble lost soul, which makes my battle by the numbers enhancements pretty bad. Mm. Satan C coming down, eh? Negate protect abilities, and your evil character is discarded by an opponent. Discard a hero in a territory. Okay. Go into captivity. Go into captivity. You can only activate this. You only use it its ability when you activate it. So they're discarding this card to capture a hero. And draw one. So Noah is getting captured. I was scared. I was afraid they were going to capture my Abraham. Surprised they didn't capture Abraham here. Angel from the Sun hitting the red zone. Going to exchange with a martyr from their deck. If anyone who's played with disciples knows, Matthew is the martyr that they typically get on turn one. So they're going to convert it to Meek to reveal my hand and draw cards. They're going to be drawing five cards here. I have five different brigades in my hand. And um, I'm not too worried. I do have the herdsmen. Herdsmen! So yeah, if nothing else happens right now, I can just play herdsmen and draw five cards too. And not fall behind on cards. But opponent's going to play dominant here before I get a chance to block. They're going resurrection. Mm -hmm. So they get to get a good gospel fortress and empty tomb hero from deck. Okay. And they get to band. John the Fisherman coming out from the deck. Really solid card. And they're banding in Bartholomew, who's being converted to negate enhancements. Oh, wait, sorry. That's the wrong one. Which one did he grab? Andrew. So yeah, ne Andrew's negating characters, except for disciples and enhancements. And then he banded in Judas. So he's drawing four cards, two off of Judas, two off of John. Negating characters, so my herdsman. I can't block with my herdsman because its ability is getting prevented. So this is just a battle challenge. I don't have I know I don't have to block, but I don't want him drawing all those cards. Or I could I could even block with outsiders here, maybe. Wait, one, two. I don't know if outsiders if I had I don't know if opponent had board advantage for outsiders. Okay, but Goliath will negate band draw and play abilities, so that's gonna negate his draw cards that he just drew. I can't negate the banding from the resurrection, unfortunately, but this will slow down his drawing a, a, a bit. Yeah, if I count correctly, it doesn't look like opponent had board advantage. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have seven. Seven to seven. All right, Goliath is going to push all those heroes out. Good job, Goliath. And they didn't have a new hero, so it looks like it's going to be my turn here. All right, shield coming down. Shield's pretty good against this deck because Abraham, he has to search when he attacks. It's not like a May ability. So I know I have Benjamin, but the shuffle, the, let's see, I can go Abraham. Okay. Well, actually, maybe Shield's not as bad as I thought because I can go Abraham, grab three visitors, three visitors, go to Benjamin. Wait. No. Because the search is going to happen before Benjamin's protection ability happens. Not like I'm negating shield, so okay, I got so I got orphans out, but I can't remember Satan C is negating those protect abilities. So orphans not gonna be protecting from shield. So right now I'm just thinking about shield. How can I deal with this? You know, I do have three woes. Okay, let's do first things first. Let's use my glass cursed under deck their Judas from their territory, then use three woes. I guess I could negate their Satan seat. Negate their protect, and then orphans would just protect. But that's like vulnerable to like Son of God. That would negate and rescue orphans. So let's just negate their shield. Plus it'll shut down. Oh yeah, so here's the thing too. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried about shield. Because they have to have a character in play to meet the unity requirements here. So yeah, in order to even use shield, you have to have a unity. Evil characters that share a brigade. He has no evil characters in play, so I don't think... Shield can actually shuffle and stuff. You have no evil characters in play. Someone remind me in the comments if that's true or not. Anyways, doing a big banding chain, grabbing storehouse. I like Joseph a lot, man. Joseph is solid. Okay, rebellious. 
Israelites coming in hot. When it may discard a good card from hand, if they do not, you may activate an OT card from reserve. Okay. Um, I think I can afford to discard a card here. All right. Yeah, discard version birth. I know I can get a hero out of my reserve, but I don't think it's going to be that relevant right now. Okay, I did not want to see this. Reap the Whirlwind. It's going to shuffle all heroes in battle. Cannot be negated. So there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. This deck is equipped with ways to get around cards like Reap the Whirlwind. Like it's playing the Cross. It's playing Coliseum. But I just wasn't able to draw either of those cards before he drew his Reap the Whirlwind. Okay. Tabra coming down. If opponent plays a dominant, you may shuffle the lost soul. If attacked and more than one hero is in battle, you may activate an OT curse. Hmm. So this card's also good against multiple heroes, huh? Endless treasures coming down. Take a curse from reserve. Take evil weapons. So this card's good against curses, I guess. Okay, opponent's deciding what to do. They're thinking about going for flying scroll here, but they can just take an outsiders. They can't take David, I don't think. Um they really want to take out David. So they're gonna go deserving scorn. Reserve this card to underdeck David. Oh no. Oh no. Yep, so David's on the bottom of the deck now. I don't know why I played David out. I made him just vulnerable to attack. So probably a mistake. All right, they have a three woes of their own. What are they going to negate? My storehouse? Okay, storehouse negated. So, okay, they're coming in with a meek Matthew. So just a four, six play brigade hero. What's my best block here? I do have access to my reserve because of the deceiver. So I could grab solve Tarsus, could grab foreign wives. Mm, let's save that for later. Let's just do, let's see. If I go Emperor Nero here, I can get the Colosseum from my deck. Okay. I wish I could play it the same turn I got it. That'd be so sick. Cause I know he has the Ascension in his hand. Mm. Yeah, because he has Ascension in his hand, like block with Emperor Nero is not going to be really good. Yeah, maybe I should have used Deceiver, try to get a Paul on my reserve and try to grab unsuccessful just buy some time but at least i'm forcing the ascension out of his hand and at least i'm getting a coliseum down so i feel like this is going to help me in future battles the disciples deck is known for playing authority of christ so if i have coliseum in play getting turning off their ability to play this card is going to be really important all right my turn they take an early lead one to zero feels bad getting two of my early rescues blocked i basically have nothing going for me the only thing i have is i have an activated artifact covenant of noah i can use this to grab abraham and just get the boys back together again you know so that's what i'm going to be doing if i don't draw anything else all right covet lost soul put this in their territory then they take a lost soul from opponent's deck to my territory so what do i want to do okay i make a mistake here I take color guard and I forget that there's Satan seed out. So I had a good intention of trying to protect my evil humans in my territory from harm, but failed to realize that they had Satan seed out. So I should have grabbed a different lost soul here from their deck, something with more utility. That's okay. All right, Covenant Noah, let's go grab my boy, Abraham. Search for the three visitors who search for the Benjamin. Oh, wait, no. Jacob, who grabs a good Genesis enhancement. Oh, wait, I can grab evil or good. Do I have any evil Genesis enhancements? Definitely not Genesis. Okay, anyways, I'm grabbing Covenant with Adam, and then Jacob can ban to a meek hero. Yeah, Jacob's just solid. Let's see, I'm just going to ban to one of their disciples here. Okay, they have a Tabra trigger. They're going to activate Confusion of Mind. That's okay. I can deal with that. I don't really care about that right now. Mm, okay, they do a block. And they're going to make me discard a card from my hand. Okay. Mask of Arrogance. Interrupt the battle. Draw three cards. Play next enhancement. Which will be Grumbling at God. Used by Wilderness Human. Negate other enhancements. Withdraw other characters. For one hero. One evil character. Okay. I guess I'm just going to negate that. I'm just going to play Covenant Adam. Reveal my good dominant from my hand. Um, they probably should have just like withdrew everybody except for their meek, meek, uh, disciple. Cause the chances of me like having a clay brigade enhancement 
my hand is a lot less than having a blue one, especially because they know I just grabbed this. But I did have an option to play Faith of Samuel. So I still think I would have got the Lost Soul that turn. So it's one to one now. Let's see. Gotta get down to hand size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. What are my blocks? Okay, so I drew a Malachite Slave. Oh, let's see, what's opponent doing? All right, so they're trying to use their dominant right on victoriously to play an enhancement on your meek hero. And they are going for the, they're going for the authority of Christ power play, but Coliseum was shutting that down. They would have just tossed that into the Nola void, I think. Cause yeah, Thaddeus or Matthias is in the field of battle and they're trying to toss it. Yeah. Okay. So opponent's play wasn't going to work out for them. Let's see. I'm going to use my deceiver. To go grab solve Tarsus from my reserve and play at unsuccessful. So this is good against their right on because Saul is going to be protected. If the opponent tries to use their dominant to play a good enhancement here, it's going to be protected from that. And all right, now I have initiative and I'm just going to play unsuccessful. And there's nothing opponent can do about that, I feel like. All right. Good job, defense. Good job, Saul. Wait, what? Okay, so here's a question. So if I play draw Hunter, can they like Son of God it right away to rescue Hunter or do I get to like shuffle that into my deck and they can't target my Hunter? Mm -hmm. Anyways, they rescue their go. They should score. Their, sh their score should update the three one now. And I'm going to use my Heaven and Noah to grab a Genesis guy from my deck. Who do I want? Mm -hmm. All right, Abraham. Putting faith of Abraham on him. Now we're going to get busy. So here's a cool thing. You attack with Abraham, with faith of Abraham on it. When opponent goes to block, you can play Abraham's servant to Ur. So that's going to negate other abilities on characters enhancements. That's going to negate the ability of your Abraham's faith. So that card you just played off faith of Abraham is going to go back to your hand. So you can just keep attacking over and over again with a big banding chain and your stuff couldn't can't be negated so pretty cool okay um, let's see if opponent can block here they have a deceiver okay so before their deceiver can search i think i get the opportunity to play a enhancement off of my faith of abraham is that correct so if they block with deceiver i could have just played abraham and negate his search ability which better have been really good but um, yeah, I think I missed that trigger or something. But they decide to go for a Blood Avenger out of the deck or something. Okay. Now I'm going to negate his ability. So this might end up hurting me more than it hurts him because they have a Humble Lost Soul in play and they have less cards in hand than I do. So anything they, they play is like, has cannot be prevented on it. But anything I play is um, prevented. <laughs> So, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm thinking about last turn. I think opponent could have used Herod's Temple here. Yeah, opponent had Herod's Temple and they're attacking with a single guy. They could have just um, tossed all the enhancements and they could have just tossed my unsuccessful. So, yikes. Okay. Yeah, Herod's Temple, pretty scary. Especially if I'm relying on enhancements to try and save me. Okay, they just had a lawless, cannot be prevented lawless. Okay, so they put a card in my territory, Lost Soul card, and they gave me Falling Away off the top of my deck. I feel like at this point in the game, you should be targeting yourself with Lawless. You don't want to be giving me law Falling Away in the middle of the game, you know? Hmm. And it's not, it's like I already, already have a Lost Soul out. I could, I could definitely see the argument if I had zero Lost Souls out, but I just have, already have one out. Hmm. Okay. You have a crowd's choice now. Personally, this card is one of the hardest cards for me to play with. I get really overwhelmed by how many choices this card enables. It's like, do I take a good card from my deck? Or do I take an evil card from my deck? Do I do it from reserve? Do I do it? You know, when do I do it? Hmm. Yeah, this, I need to get better at playing crowd's choice. I feel like that'll come with time, but right now it just feels like I just have no idea what I'm doing with this card. Part of me like wants to take it out of my deck so I don't have to like think about the decisions it leads to because I'm afraid I'm gonna like mess them up. 
but part of me wants to keep it in because I need to get better with it and helping being able to check my deck list during the match helps a lot. But in, I think in tournaments, like, I don't know if I'd be able to like check my deck list. There's probably like a written deck list somewhere that I can look at or something. I don't know. Alrighty. Opponent's turn. Right. Opponent is taking the lead with three to two, but they've played their second son of God second coming already. And I haven't, I haven't played my chariot of fire second coming. So I would say like, I'm in the lead because I just, in theory, need one more to win while opponent needs two more to win. So let's see what happens. All right, they have a Bartholomew. Is it converting to Meek? Anyways, good gospel enhancements cannot be negated. I may convert this card to Meek to play Lost Soul from a uh, deck. If it sounds like I'm a bit tired right now, because uh, I may or may not have already recorded this video and an hour into it, realized that my mic was muted, so... This is the second time I'm commentating this game, and um, I've definitely double checked three times to make sure my mic's not muted. Double check again. Yep, still going. So I, I thought I learned from my mistake about muting mics, but I haven't learned the other. Anyways, anyways, back to the game. Focus, 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 focus. What's happening? Okay, I used a Malachite slave to go grab High Priest Ananias because I know. How good this card is against disciples a lot of their good enhancements have multiple brigades in them so if they only have one character in battle a okay, priest ananias is going to say no no do not do that i wish i could see my opponent's hand to see exactly what they're working with i do know they had a so something they could have done is they could have wait no because i imagine they had a bunch of clay and purple brigade enhancements in their hand so I was going to say like, oh, maybe they could have used right on to add a hero to battle. Okay. Anyways, back to the, but right on only adds meat heroes. They can't add like purple brigade. So I used falling away on one of their heroes. It was going to be, and then I activated covenant of Adam to decrease blocking characters. Oh, three. Then I attacked with Elijah and their character only had three points of toughness. And so I chose that character to block and that character just died. And I got a lost soul for free. Now I can't win the game on the spot right now because I don't have second coming or chariots of fire. If I had one or either, I could have used crowd's choice to find the other one and win the game. So cheesy, cheesy attack gets the job done. Okay. I've never seen this card in my life. That's a human. If you meet your attacks, take top deck, a good card from reserve. If you meet heroes blocked from hand, you might take a good card from deck. Hmm. I say, okay. All right, Matthias getting in there. Let's see, he's gonna be grabbing eternal inheritance. Oh, so I'm running out of time here for sure. I need to close out this game fast. Or else he's just gonna use an eternal inheritance to, to beat me. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> what could he possibly have to answer this? If he didn't have an answer last turn, you know, I don't know. I have a backup, uh, I have a backup Chronicles of the Kings to negate stuff if need be. Nope, that just, Kills him. Great. Great. Okay. Let's finish off this game here. Okay. I just drew Chariot of Fire. So I can just go Crouch Choice, get my second coming, Chariot of Fire, second coming, play Chariot of Fire again. And that's going to be five lost souls. And that's game. Mm -hmm. So apparently, opponent's deck, they were trying to leverage a wilderness defense so they could play 40 years in a super fast disciples offense. They can draw a bunch of cards and then reset the game with 40 years. And usually that'll put them in a great spot. But opponent didn't draw their 40 years and I was able to take the match down 5-3. I really like this deck. I want to keep playing more of it. And I'm learning a lot about the offense and how it's working. I'm taking a lot of what's working in this offense and I'm going to put it into the Herod Surprise deck that I've been working on because it's using like an Abraham attack. But I really like how good... Joseph the Dreamer is. There's like so many good cards it can grab. Cannot be negated. And so that even works with my... The Herod Surprise deck is all about like trying to take advantage of where we're taken. So Joseph is like another good card. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>